From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verses 29 to 33. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. To those among us who belong to the teaching profession, I am sure that uh, you have found fulfillment in your lives, especially when uh, you meet your former students, especially those very successful ones. You feel that uh, you are part of their success. Kapag namimit ko yung mga dating teachers ko sa Don Bosco, former professors, sasabihin nila kaagad, <clears throat> hindi ko akalain na magpapari ka. Pero makikita mo sa kanila mga mata, hindi yung questioning eyes or doubting eyes. Makikita mo yung sparkling eyes. Uh, they're proud that uh, once upon a time their student <clears throat> ako ay naging pare. The disciples in the gospel now claim to understand exactly what Jesus has taught them. Although it is doubtful that they really do. Jesus questions the depth of their belief. Very soon, in just a few hours, when they go to the Garden of Gethsemane, because this is still in the context of the Last Supper, they will be scattered in all directions and leave Jesus alone and abandoned. Jesus is our teacher and in the gospel he shows so much compassion and patience to his students alam niya na hindi nila nauunawaan ang lahat ng mga sinasabi niya subalit meron siyang confidence na pagdating ng Espiritu Santo unti-unti nilang mauunawaan ang lahat ng mga tinuturo niya sa kanya. At yan ang ating pinaghahandaan sa darating na linggo, Pentecost Sunday. We all share in the teaching mission of Jesus Christ by virtue of baptism. Ano yung threefold mission na ipinagkatiwala sa atin kahapon, Ascension Sunday, by virtue of baptism, servant leadership, priestly ministry. We are all priests. Ang pagkakaibo ko lang ay uh, I share in the ministerial priesthood. But we are all priests by virtue of baptism. Pag sa bahay, si kuya, si ate, si mommy, si daddy, pag nag ng bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, you are acting as a priest already when you lead in prayer. Kaya pag may mga meeting, uh, wag kayong magtuturuan pag sinabing uh, who would like to volunteer to pray? Opening prayer. Nagtuturoan yan. Huwag. 
Huwag kayong magtuturoan. Dahil lahat po tayo ay may karapatan mag-lead ng prayer. We are all priests. And pagdating ng closing prayer, nagtuturoan na naman. Huwag. Dapat eh, kayo mismo nagbo-volunteer. Dapat eh, nag-aagawan kapag may opening prayer and closing prayer. And prophetic mission. Yung prophetic mission, yan yung uh, teaching mission. We cannot uh, pass on the baton of faith to the next generation if we do not teach the faith. We do not communicate the faith. Kaya lang, sinabi ng Panginoon, in the world you will have trouble. Many will not accept what we would like to proclaim. Pero kahit na hindi ito tatanggapin, Jesus assures them, take courage, I have conquered the world. This is not a uh, political conquering. It is a spiritual conquering. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us continue to prepare ourselves for the celebration of Pentecost. Let us open our hearts and minds. Let us be aware of the mission that the Lord has entrusted to us. Even in the times of this uh, pandemic, kahit na puro social media lang ang ating means of communication. Let us always remember the words of Jesus in the Gospel. Kahit na napakahirap mag-evangelize ngayon, I have conquered the world. The Lord will conquer this pandemic. And time will come, mapupuno uli ang ating mga simbahan. Kahit naka-face mask lahat.